started. It's an uncomfortable conversation to have, but I want to address uh, this to Attorney General Ford right now. Why do you think this country is so divided? Why are we in this position in 2020? Well, first off, thank you so much to Channel 13 for having this important conversation. Uh, as I've said before, we should be toward the end of conversing and toward seeing implementation of policies and practices that help to improve relationships between law enforcement and the communities that they serve. Um, you know, I would not use the word divided right now, and frankly, but because what I'm seeing are opportunities for us to continue uh, progressing. Um, I think uh, what we've seen in the wake of George Floyd's killing uh, is an opportunity for us to um, come together to continue the conversation and to find uh, opportunities to implement policies that will in, in, uh, inure trust uh, between law enforcement and the communities that they serve. Uh, that said, um, we can't be complacent. Uh, we can't be lulled in, into complacency. We can't wait for this moment to pass and, uh, and have others to, uh, or to have others to co-opt this opportunity. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to this conversation so that we can ensure uh, that we do in fact improve relationships. And Chief Andres, I would ask the same question of you. You know, I think that's, that's very important what Attorney General Ford said. I think this gives us an opportunity for us to have conversations. Uh, I think the most important thing during this time is community engagement. Uh, even during some of these unprecedented times that we see right now, uh, it just speaks a lot to uh, law enforcement and their community continue to engage each other in a positive way. I know here in Henderson, one of the things that we believe in being very proactive in is working with the community uh, because between community and police, that's how we solve problems. But I also think that it's important that we really uh, focus on cultural policing uh, in our neighborhoods to continue training like implicit bias and training like procedural justice so that our officers understand uh, the framework and communities that we serve every day. All right, uh, same question to Professor Kennedy. How is it uh, that we're in this position right now? Um, that's a great question and uh, thank you for having me as well. Um, I would say that a lot of people perceive this as something that's that's happened overnight. Um, there have been tense relations between uh, police and minority communities for, for decades now. Um, and a lot of police agencies have attempted to really implement some reforms to repair this relationship overall. Um, but we're seeing a lot of this culminating in 2020 um, and it's potentially being exacerbated by, by current events as well. Um, but people are, just trying to voice opinions um, throughout protests and things like that. And one of the things I would absolutely echo from Attorney General Ford and Chief Andres uh, is that this is a time for action. Um, we're seeing a number of police reforms, an unprecedented level of police reform being proposed right now. Um, and this is the time that a lot of this reform um, could be used to further those community relationships um, and really build um, a trusting and uh, true relationship between the community and police.